Hi guys, this is Saurav. In this video, we will create open library app. So how it's look? So let's see first example here. So here you can see that's the app here. Now I'm going to the URL here. Okay, that's my browser here. Suppose I'm searching for rich dad and poor dad PDF. Okay, and you can see here that's the uh, PDF URL. Okay, so I'm going to just copy this URL and go to my app here and just type URL. It means I'm going to paste this URL here and just click on submit. Fine. Now you will see that's the URL. Now suppose if someone open this app, another uh, mobile and if they want to download this book, so what they will do, they just need to click on this book name. Okay. And we need to click on open button. You will see you will redirect in the browser. Just click on the browser and you will see you will redirect to book. You can just directly paste the full URL like your book name dot PDF. So anyone can download the books from your app. So that's the open library app where anyone can submit any book or anyone can download any books. Fine. So here we go. First we need to click on start new project. That's my app name. Open book or open library any and just click on OK. Now uh, here you can see that's the dashboard. Now we are going to drag and drop one layout here and that one is I'm going to use here vertical arrangement and make this one is fill parent hide and where is also fill parent fine now we have to drag and drop one text box here you will see text box here just drag and drop this one and make this hide uh, hide should be something 10% okay and make this one is multi line just check this box and just remove this hint text and just type type url okay and uh, make this one with this fill parent like this fine now we are going to drag and drop one more layout that one is horizontal arrangement and make this with this fill parent here i'm going to drag and drop two buttons first and that one is second click on horizontal arrangement and make this center and center click on button one and click on submit just type here submit and just this one is for open okay now we are going to drag and drop one more thing that one is list view fine now here i'm going to drag and drop one more thing that one is cloud db you will see here storage that one is like this fine now here i'm going to drag and drop one more thing that one is activity starter you will see a connectivity activity starter like this now click on activity starter and just type here one thing that one is android dot intent dot action dot view okay i will give you this uh, one line in description now go to the block section here click on block and whenever someone click on button one it means button one it means submit button so just click on the button one so we have to save the data okay so just click on cloud dv and we have to call here call cloud dv dot append value to list and we have to initialize one variable just type here initialize global and that one is change name to book and make this one uh, create empty list so just type here create empty list just select this one and drag and drop this here now uh, we need to tag okay so which tag we have to use just text and drag and drop here and i'm to use here book tag like this now which item we have to add so we have to add text box one dot text data so you will see here text box one dot text this one just like this now fine now we have to click on the cloud DB, and you will see here the option of uh, whenever data will change okay so we have to call here set this one set global book value to value get value like this and click on list view and then here we have to set 
set list view one dot element two. So drag and drop this here, and we need to just use here get value like this. Fine. Whenever someone click on cloud images and whenever data will change, will be done. Whenever we got the value, so we have to just copy this line and paste it here like this. Fine. Okay. Now uh, we have to change one thing. That one is value. We have to change, make it tag and make it tag like this. Okay. Now, whenever someone click on list view, whenever someone select the list means after picking up the list. So we have to call one thing. That one is activity starter. So click on activity starter and you will see here data URI. Set activity starter dot data URI. Fine. Just drag and drop this data URI here. And which uh, data, which URL we have to call here? We have to call selected URL. So just click on list view and you will see here list view one dot selection. Okay. Just like this. Right. Now, here what we will do whenever someone click on the button two. Okay. We have selected the URL. Now, after selected the URL, we have to call there. So we just need to click on activity starter and you will see there call activity one dot starter activity. Fine. You can design this app also like uh, click on vertical arrangement and make this background is something orange and click on horizontal arrangement and make this background pink and now click on the button and you can make horizontal arrangement make this one hide at least uh, something percentage in 7% let's see no uh, I think this should be at least 10% so this will make perfect fine okay now click on button and you can change these buttons your uh, color like I'm going to use your uh, tile color okay so where is it where is it where is yeah that one is tile color I'm going to use and make this one text should be white I'm going to use here and make this text font gold. Click on another button, click on first button and copy this. Click on custom and copy this code here. Click on done. Click on another button. Go to the default background color custom and paste your code here. Click done and go to the text color and click on white and make this one is font gold. Fine. So this app is look pretty cool. Now you can do one uh, more thing like uh, you can design this one also make this one list view at least make it fill parent like this and if you want to change this default uh, color also so you can make this one is uh, like something if I just make it default black and make this text should be white okay uh, that one is default value so I'm to make this one is suppose uh, background color is something uh, uh, orange no uh, I should make it go to the custom and make this one something I'm going to make it tile like this and make this text color is going to be white like this fine so that's the overall design of our app now let's see run this app and how it's work so here you can see that's the app here now I'm going to the you are here okay that's my browser here suppose i am searching for rich dad and poor dad pdf okay and you can see here that's the uh, pdf url okay so i'm going to just copy this url and go to my app here and just type url it means i'm going to paste this url here and just click on submit fine now you will see that's the url now suppose if someone open this app another uh, mobile and if they want to download this book, so what they will do, they just need to click on this book name, okay? And we need to click on open button. You will see, you will redirect in the browser. Just click on the browser and you will see, you will redirect to book. You can just directly paste the full URL like your book name dot PDF. So anyone can download the books from your app. So that's the open library app where anyone can submit any book or anyone can download any books. Fine. Thank you so much for watching this video.
please subscribe my channel like this video if you have any doubt you can ask me on comment have a nice day be safe bye bye